Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig. And I'm Mel. And you're with Love in This World. And it is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful evening here at Epcot. And behind us is Le Chef's de France, where we have dining reservations. And we haven't uh, been to Le Chef's in... Some time. Yeah, a couple of years. At least definitely not since the park has reopened from the COVID. So we're excited to get inside, see how the menu's changed, see if the food is still as good as we remember, and uh, hope you'll join us inside. Let's go have some fun. So we just got seated here at Chef's Day France, and I will say it is very loud in here, but that's pretty typical. Um, they did a great job with social distancing. Feels like uh, a French bistro in here. It's really nice. One thing that did jump out to me uh, when we were scanning the QR code to look at the menu, outside of their normal stuff, they also have a price fix menu, which seemed to be a pretty good deal if you really are looking to have an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Now, we don't really have an appetizer here that we were into, so we did not go with the price fix. But if you're getting, for example, the steak and then a dessert, you're already at the price of the price fix menu, which was $49.50. So you're basically getting a free appetizer. So that's not a bad deal. So uh, keep that in mind if that's something that you want, if you want like an escargot or an, an onion soup. If you're into that sort of thing, the price fix menu of $49.50 is probably the way to go. Just one observation, but we can't wait for our food to get here and see how it tastes. While waiting for our meal, we were given the traditional French bread, the baguette. It looks like we got some butter over there, so let's slather this up and have some bread. So for my entree, I got the filet. Uh, I got it with the, uh, fries. It's supposed to be peas and carrots. I don't see any peas, just carrots. For Connor, we got basically a burger with mashed potatoes. And then Melissa got the filet as well with mashed potatoes and green beans, which is how it's supposed to be served. I just went a little different. We didn't get a chance to review the bread, but I will say the bread is very hard I and mean, we got frozen butter, so it's not very easy to spread. It's just your average bread. Um, it's nothing special, but it is, it's not bad. It's just average and special bread. So I'm gonna get mashed potatoes and steak together with this yummy sauce. It's really good. The steak is cooked perfectly for me. Easy to cut. Mashed potatoes are good. Let's try the green beans. There's not a lot of flavor to them, but in the sauce, it's pretty good. So I recommend taking your green beans and squishing them around in that brown sauce because it gives it a lot more flavor. But overall, the steak's pretty good. It has a nice char flavor on it. Um, it's cooked nicely to medium. So I'm very happy with the first couple bites. I got the filet. Looks, just first look, definitely looks like it's cooked to a medium, and I apologize, it's very loud here. So I'm trying to speak up, but it looks like it's cooked perfectly, can't wait to give it a go. That peppercorn sauce is very good. You get a good, good taste of the char, which is great. Uh, I will say the steak itself is not that flavorful. There's not any seasoning on it or anything along those lines. It's basically the char and the peppercorn sauce. I will agree with you. Without the sauce, it is a it's, little plain. It would be very, very bland without the, without the sauce. The fries, they're very bland as well. But, you know, I just got some ketchup delivered to me. That helps. The sauce helps. Uh, I was supposed to get peas and carrots. I just got these carrots. I am not a fan of the carrots. They have no taste whatsoever. Uh, once again, you have to use the sauce to get any sort of flavoring in it. Other than that, we'll keep going. So Craig said he liked the sauce, but I don't think he liked it as much as I did, because I dipped everything in the sauce. I think that was the entire flavor on the dish was that sauce. Well, then again, I couldn't use all the stuff to dip because you did your green beans in the sauce. I have these carrots, and I don't even like the carrots. They don't, they don't taste good. So even with the sauce, it didn't help. So that's why I have all the sauce left over. If I could have dipped it, and it would have tasted good, I would have 
use my sauce. Sauce is good. Sauce is good. Carrots, not so good. So we just got our desserts. I got the chocolate tart, uh, which is basically chocolate with chocolate and more chocolate. Beautiful presentation though. Melissa got the vanilla creme brulee. That looks amazing as well. Well, she broke the ice. I'm just gonna keep eating it. Okay. Don't tell us about it. Just eat it. I think it's done perfectly. Sometimes when I get it, we get that burnt taste, and I think it's just right. And it's smooth and creamy. It's good. I recommend it. So we got the chocolate tart. It has basically three distinct layers. We've got the tart, chocolate mousse, and then a. I think it's supposed to be like a ganache, a white chocolate ganache. Um, so let's give it a try. See what's nice about this this dessert is you have the smooth, smooth, creamy taste of the mousse, but then it has a hard outside layer of the tart. So it gives it a lot of different components, which is nice. All together though, it kind of tastes like an Oreo. It really tastes like a chocolate, almost like a chocolate covered Oreo. Um, very good though. It's very light, uh, but I, do, I like the tart a lot. The, the mousse is just okay for me. The tart, I, I, I like a lot. Uh, All together, it's, it's a deluxe Oreo. Very good. I would recommend this one. So here's a close up look at the creme brulee. I'll be honest, the closer that I got to the middle, the sugar was a little bit more done than my preference. I started to get kind of that burnt flavor, but the edges were okay for me. Overall, I still like the creme brulee, but it was just getting to the point of being a little bit too done. So, we just wrapped up our meal at Le Chef de France. And let me start out by saying it was good, mm -hmm. not spectacular. Before we get into talking about our food, I will say with Le Chef de France, uh, be prepared, they don't accept any form of discounts at dinner. No DVC, no annual pass, no tables in Wonderland. So what you see on the menu, that's what you're gonna be paying. Uh, with that in mind, I don't think our entire meal was worth what we spent for it. I agree. Um, so we'll, we'll start, we didn't get an appetizer uh, at all. We got bread. That was hard, it was a baguette. It was, it was fine, it was just average bread. Um, I got the steak, which the steak was good. It was cooked to perfection, um, but it didn't have much taste. It came in a peppercorn sauce, and the peppercorn sauce was good, mm -hmm. had a lot of taste, a lot of flavor, but if it didn't have that sauce, it would have just been a plain steak. Mm -hmm. Uh, same way with the fries. The fries were just average fries. Uh, if it didn't have the sauce, didn't have the ketchup, probably wouldn't have been that good. And I was supposed to get peas and carrots. I just got carrots. I didn't see peas. No peas. I mean, I searched high and low. I looked under the steak, I looked under the fries. No peas. The carrots, not good. Not good at all. Didn't like those. I tried them as well, and they were just bland. They didn't have any flavor to them. Right. I mean, I even tried putting them in the sauce. It didn't help. It really didn't. Um, and then for dessert, I had the chocolate tart. It was a delicious dessert. Really, really good. No complaints about dessert. It was, had uh, different textures uh, between the, the creamy chocolate mousse to the hard tart. It was great. Um, but overall, it was just an average, well, it was above average meal. It just wasn't spectacular for the price. What'd you think of yours? Well, you didn't let me try your dessert, so I can't even comment on that. Well, that's because it was too good. <laughs> I also got the steak. The steak was good, but I agree with what Craig said. Separately, the steak, the green beans had no separate flavor. Now, I had a lot of sauce, which I really enjoyed. I dipped everything in the sauce, the green beans, the steak, the mashed potatoes, and that was delicious. Again, Craig didn't have an opportunity to do that. Um, so mine overall was really flavorful as long as I drenched it in sauce. As Craig said, let's lather it, lather it in sauce. Lather it up. Um, but 
again, it didn't have a lot of flavor on its own. Um, again, the steak was cooked well, you know, just the way that I wanted it, um, but I was a little disappointed in the overall flavor if you didn't have enough sauce. So thankfully, I did have enough sauce. Um, for dessert, I got the creme brulee. It was good. It was very creamy and smooth. Sometimes you can get them where it started, the ingredients are starting to separate. Um, the topping was just a little bit overdone for my personal preference. Um, it just got to the point where it was almost tasting burnt to me, but you tried it and you didn't have that same reaction to it. So um, again, that's just a personal preference, but I think they have some of the best creme brulee that we've had. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that they're known for, one of their signature items. So you expect it to be good. Um, I do agree with her. I've seen where she's gotten it and it has been burnt. Um, you know, it was on the edge. It was teetering on uh, the one she had. My only gripe about it was the, I thought the pudding part of the creme brulee was a little warm. Uh, I would have preferred it to be a little cooler. But, you know, once again, personal personal preference. Personal preference. We didn't talk about Connor's meal, so Connor. Oh got... yes, well, see, that's I got distracted. <laughs> the, the light, the bug. Connor with the stroller. Yeah. Um, and so he got the steak. What did they call it? Uh, it was like a ground steak. Um, pretty much it we'll was call a, burger. It a burger. It was a burger. Um, of course, Connor ordered it with cheese. Then when we got it, he didn't want the cheese. But overall, um, he liked the burger. You could get French fries. You can get mashed potatoes. He really doesn't eat either. So that kind of just sat there. Um, it did come with a side salad again he didn't touch any of that but he did like the burger itself be on the lookout for new content there's always new content and join us next time and we'll show you why we are loving this world good night everyone see ya